Good afternoon. This is Munira from Chicagoland. I am the CEO and founder of Kismet Ventures Inc. And I am in, on a mission to expose and promote people who are adding value to other people's lives. So in this way, I'm adding value to their lives. So it's a vicious cycle and we are creating a process where value you know, it doesn't matter if it's money or it's ideas or it's knowledge. Whatever we are adding, other, whatever these things are that we're adding to people's lives. I am interviewing Gita Krishan today and she is here with us. Thank you so much for being here, Gita. <clears throat> Welcome. My pleasure. Thank you so much, Munira, for the opportunity to invite me and... Uh, it's, it's a wonderful platform that you've started to encourage many more and inspire many more. So kudos to you and truly an honor to be on this platform. Thank you so much, Gita. So tell me a little bit about you. Surely. Uh, my name is Gita Krishnan. I've been in the corporate uh, training field for over 14 years. I've been teaching, training, um, uh, communication skills, um, you know, every aspect of soft skills uh, in Fortune 500 companies and uh, right from CEOs to, uh, to, to every level of um, uh, interactions that I've had uh, building team building uh, workshops and uh, many other uh, form of uh, interactions, uh, especially with uh, the corporate sector, it becomes a lot more important that we bring about and instill more values as well as uh, aspects of growth. So that was uh, something which motivated me to bring about the, uh, I would say, I wouldn't say revolution, but more like a positive movement of change of gratitude. So gratitude is, has been a part of my life uh, since childhood, knowingly or unknowingly, I've been in that uh, continuous flow of gratitude. And that really motivated me to uh, bring that uh, in the corporate world, because I, I used to see when I'm doing my workshops, especially team building workshops, people always wanted to up uh, themselves from the others rather than uh, being in collaboration. There was always competition. So to some extent, I felt that my aspect and thought process of bringing gratitude and appreciation in the workshops would really help and it did just that so that also encouraged me to start a radio show uh, based on gratitude dynamic growth with gratitude where i invite guest speakers to share their stories of how gratitude has been instrumental in their lives in their growth especially professional growth and also personal growth because everything is all everything is connected and uh, it, it went on beautifully. It's still going great. I've had some amazing uh, guest speakers. And this week, I have a young girl, 10-year-old, 11-year-old uh, girl as my guest speaker. She reached out to me uh, wanting to be a guest on my show. And she's an author. So people right now, they come forth and they want to be on the show. They want to be um, sharing uh, their gratitudes. And that is an amazing a step up uh, from my end because I started with intention with the idea of uh, let's bring about uh, more people uh, let's let's make people more aware about gratitude and that's that's what uh, it's doing right now so it's been two years and I started the show with gratitude to my husband and uh, today uh, with a number of guest speakers like Bill Walsh and I've had uh, Nancy Matthews, uh, WP and sisters, all of, all of them were the first support system of the show. That, that's how I started off. Johnny Regan was my uh, first guest speaker and uh, he also supported me on the second uh, one year show. And so it's been a wonderful journey, Dwayne Cummings and amazing Sharon Freeman, so many amazing speakers, uh, Steve Akinborough and all of you have been such a support and the listeners and the the whole community they join in it's more like a virtual coffee and i also do facebook live along with my show so it's gratitude radio is the facebook live so that's that's something that really helped me understand gratitude better because i always believe that when you're uh, teaching you're learning more 
right? So that really helped me understand it better. So uh, the trajectory when I started off as a corporate trainer, training in the um, corporate world and also teaching in colleges uh, uh, as a faculty, I've taught over 25 different management subjects and in prominent management colleges in India. Um, holding a master's in psychology, I have uh, counseled a number of students right from the age of three to, uh, to elders to the age of 60 and 80. And that really helps me understand how to uh, help people more because every time you support one person, you're supporting 10 more people because just that one person's life is better, you're helping that person to help 10 more people's life better. So that ripple effect that we are creating, you know, Munira, you're doing this show with the intention of helping many more. And those who watch the show, they share it with 10 more people. And in fact, even a small inkling of change that they bring about just by watching the show, the credit goes to you because that's something that they are doing for themselves. And through themselves, they are going to bring about changes in so many more people and inspire so many more people. So that's what we all uh, aspire to do and want to do. And that's what we are doing. So I'm, I'm so grateful for this opportunity to share with you, Manira. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you said a lot of things. So you were a teacher. I hear actually. You were a teacher, you were a professor? Yes. Yes, I have been uh, visiting faculty with a number of management colleges in India. And, and even here, um, I've done a lot of workshops, open workshops in libraries and colleges and mentor youngsters um, in schools and colleges to support them, to, to help them understand, inspire them. Uh, I'm pretty much uh, uh, vocal and interactive on LinkedIn, the, the platform for professionals. And um, uh, my LinkedIn profile, I keep sharing a lot of posts and videos and content, which really inspire. It's, it's all about inspiring you and everybody uh, to do something more than what they all are act right now doing. So that's something that is very close to my heart. And people reach out to me and uh, I do a lot of mentoring uh, in, in whatever respects and ways that I can, along with my professional um, training that I do. So what is the primary thing that you teach people? Uh, primarily, I focus on uh, corporate training, where I train people in team building, as well as uh, communication skills. So when, when team building comes in, I incorporate appreciation and gratitude at work. So making them understand that it's important to be a part of the process, it, it not just be an observer, but be uh, in action, in practice, and how we can bring more gratitude in our lives. So that is a uh, part of team building um, workshops that I do. I also do gratitude walks. It's called On the Move, and in organizations as well as in groups, uh, personal groups, uh, I, I take people on gratitude walks and help them understand. It's basically keeping ourselves away from technology, away from noises and getting into the nature, connecting with nature and connecting with ourselves. So appreciating ourselves more. So the main um, thought where I bring about uh, intentional change, where I wish to bring about intentional change is appreciation of your own self. So when, when we appreciate ourselves better, we tend to appreciate others more. Okay. We, we love others more because we love ourselves. So that it makes a lot more sense when we look at it in that perspective because people tend to think that, okay, if we are thinking about ourselves, we are selfish. But it, it's on the contrary, it is selfish. You're being just, just like in an aircraft, if there is a turbulence, the, the, they are always told, you know, when we are traveling, we are always told to wear the mask for ourselves first and then uh, to your child or, or to your spouse or somebody who, is, uh, who wants or needs your help. Because you need to take care of yourself first. The oxygen mask is important because if you are not good enough, if you are not alive enough, if you are not happy enough, 
how will you be able to make others happy? How will you be able to support others? So it's very important that we take care of ourselves first in, in, in a very judicious way, in a, in a wonderful way, in a positive way. Because the moment you have that glow on your face, the appreciation that you love yourself, just keeping ourselves away from the negative thoughts and gratitude is a wonderful tool to help all of us to do that. Because the more we are grateful, the more we are grateful to not only ourselves, but also to everybody around us, we can feel that. You know, it's such a positive emotion that, especially if when people ask me this question always that, oh, there are so many different challenges and so many difficulties, and how do you think that I can be grateful at that moment? I, I just can't even come out of all those uh, chaos and problems. On the contrary, those are the situations when you should be more grateful because at that point, when, when you're at the worst position, when the lowest rung of the ladder, you look up and you see there are so many more ladders and you look up and how am I going to climb up those, lad those rungs in the ladder? You, you reflect back on, you know, my mom loves me so much. That's going to help me, push me to get up on those rungs. You know what? I, I have this amazing set of friends who are going to support me and that's going to help me climb up this ladder. One more rung. And you keep thinking of all those things that you have. I have this, this roof over my head. You know, I'm, I'm not in, in, a, uh, in an old age home or I'm not in, in, in somebody else's care. I, I have these two legs that I can walk. You know, I, I can get a job if I want to. So all these parameters, all these things that come together, that help us to actually come out of those uh, the difficult uh, well that we are in and we keep looking up and those rungs of in the ladder we start walking them up just by pulling all these positive thoughts all these positive gratitude moments that we have and we every one of us have that believe me just in this moment when we are talking to each other I'm grateful for Munira for inviting me on this show so that I'm able to share this with so many more people, you know, all those who will be watching this video. I'm grateful for just being able to sit here and talk to you because this platform, the Zoom or whichever internet is offering us, I'm grateful that I can see you. I'm grateful that I can hear you. So there are, there are so, many, so many things that we can be grateful for just when we think about it people tend to let go of these wonderful moments. You're right, because most people don't think about these things. You know, it's everything that you said, the sights, the sounds, the smell, you know, the, the fact that we are sitting in our homes and doing this with the technology where we could have traveled so much to find you. Know? This, I don't understand. Exactly. The uh, echo, but... You know, <laughs> That's okay. So that's part of uh, the workshop. It's part of the learning process, isn't it? So we, even if there is an echo, we are still being able to reach out. We are still being able to share our message. And that's more important. So just incorporating all that's around us and accepting it as it is and being grateful for it. You know? So in spite of the challenges, we are able to do what we intended to do. We set out this time and we intended to speak and we are grateful for those moments that, that is going out into the world and helping somebody just by us taking the initiative of doing it. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that is amazing. And you know, we never think about these things because we take them literally. We exactly. don't, you know, and I come from East Africa where, you know, these things weren't available. You know, we never thought of the internet at one point. But when I came here, the internet was full blown. I was back there three years ago, and I was sick because I couldn't get on the internet. The people, I mean, here, the internet, every household has internet. So when you go first to the place, you ask them, can I use the internet, can you give me the password? Over there, not everybody has it. It's a privilege to have it. 
so and then there's electricity problems and power problems and so all of those things that created an issue and when i went there i literally had to like you said you know disconnect myself from the devices that it was every day and say i need to be with family and friends because i couldn't connect to the internet mm -hmm. And but we take these things for granted, and we never think of the fact that we are gratitude and we are thankful that we have so many privileges here. Yeah, very true. Those out. Thank you. My honor and my pleasure. And that is that is my crusade. I would say to uh, help people more to realize how important it is to be grateful and each and every one of us have the tool there are people like us to support you and i'm a gratitude leadership coach and i coach people to understand gratitude more I, I, this is what i uh, share is i teach people to thank and laugh all the way to the bank because the more you're grateful the more you are thankful you tend to uh, you know actually make things happen for you you know the moment I say thank you, Ramunira, you, you feel that thankfulness, you feel that gratefulness in your heart and you want to support me. It's not that, oh God, Gita asked me to uh, you know, uh, find some clients for her and I have to do it. On the contrary, you reach out and you say, Gita, I know some people who really love to work with you and you know, just I'll send them across to you. So it's more than just go out and help people. Just uh, build that relationship. Create those opportunities of uh, uh, helping others. You know, even if you don't have, uh, maybe you may not be able to help, but you can guide them to people who would be able to help them. So automatically they feel comfortable, they feel nice, and they want to support you. You know, so that is a wonderful uh, way of working and building your own clients. And that, that's something that I always follow and it has helped me tremendously and encourage all my clients as well as every one of you to put forth the effort to want to be there for another person rather than have to be there for another person. So when, and when you start implementing that uh, philosophy or rather the psychology, the attitude, uh, of wanting to help someone or wanting to be there for someone, you won't feel that you're actually uh, finding uh, clients or find, pressured uh, at finding work, but you would see that the work is coming towards you. The more you're grateful, the more abundance comes towards you. Munira reached out to me. She said, I want to interview you. So it's, 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 it's something that reaches out to you just because of your energy, just because of your attitude of being grateful and helpful towards people. And that is a magic wand that each and every one of us can follow uh, towards being our awesome self. So tell me about your radio show. Absolutely. Uh, my radio show is all about gratitude, uh, building the essence of gratitude, wanting to instill the idea of being in the continuous flow of gratitude. It, it means that every moment of the day, if we can be grateful, just inside of yourself, you don't need to express it to the whole world or anybody at that instant, but just feeling grateful inside, telling yourself that I'm grateful for all those things that I have and on a moment to moment basis. So the radio show helps you, uh, it's, it's, more, it's every Thursday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. CST. I'm also doing a Facebook Live. It's called uh, hashtag Gratitude Radio. If you just put hashtag Gratitude Radio on Facebook, you'll get all the recordings. Uh, I started Facebook Live. I've been doing uh, Facebook Live on special occasions the last two years, but since uh, this anniversary, uh, February 1st, that was the anniversary year of two years to be completed. I've started every week uh, Facebook Live and February 1st also happens to be my wedding anniversary. So that was the day then I started off uh, the radio show and it so happened that it fell the same day this year. So I've been doing Facebook Live as well. So you can get a recording also on my YouTube channel, Geeta Krishnan, of all the uh, Facebook Lives as well as 
different shows that I've done and also various interviews that I've given. So the show is about gratitude, dynamic growth with gratitude, how people have experienced gratitude in their own way. So I have guest speakers, most of them are prominent guest speakers, as well as people from various walks of life. It, there are some prominent and there are some people who really just want to share their message. And uh, I, I support uh, growing entrepreneurs, I support uh, youngsters, I support uh, anybody who would want to uh, be on the show, as well as I have really prominent guests who come up with all their thoughts and uh, their growth in their journeys and it's been a phenomenal uh, journey for myself as a learning process as well as uh, building a platform and uh, the radio show itself has given me such abundance you know not not only in the form of uh, understanding gratitude better but also in the form of clients and in the form of uh, people, good people, you know, building relationships, under, uh, understanding uh, their walks of life, how they build their successes. And I have been sharing that with everybody whomsoever I can touch. So that that's uh, the, the whole essence of Dynamic Growth with Gratitude. And each and every guest speaker, they share their personal stories, they share their professional stories, and they also come up with uh, all the offerings that they have, uh, pertaining to their businesses, pertaining to their work. And uh, I also open the lines for question and answers where my listeners join in and they share their gratitudes, they share their journeys. And it's, all, it's more like a virtual coffee uh, table, you know, everybody just collecting uh, themselves. And it's all people from all over the world. I've had guests as well as listeners from uh, uh, France, from uh, Egypt, from Dubai, from uh, Australia. I've had my guest speaker, uh, Tofi Vans from Australia. He was uh, awake there at 11.30 in the night when my show was live, because it's a live show. And uh, he was uh, almost groggy uh, through the day. He'd been working through, and I, I was so honored and grateful to him. And he did, did such an amazing job. He had just written a book, and it was so amazing. So every, every guest bring in such wealth of knowledge about their journeys and how gratitude has been instrumental in their growth. So that's that's about my radio show and I encourage everybody to listen in. It's on my personal page, Geeta Krishnan on Facebook and uh, encourage you all to join in. And my business page is Facebook, uh, on Facebook is Geeta Krishnan Speaks, Dynamic Growth with Gratitude, that's the radio show. You will also find the recordings there. Uh, you're most welcome to listen to the recordings as well. Great, great. So apart from um, your radio show, how else can uh, you help us? Surely. Um, I am a gratitude leadership coach. Uh, I function as a coach as well as a trainer. And I'm a certified speaker. So I speak at various events uh, all over the U.S. as well as internationally. So you can call me an international uh, speaker. Uh, I have written two books. The books are right behind me. I'll share it with you. This is my first book. Uh, this is from WPN, uh, a published book, uh, Journey to the Stage, Volume 4. And uh, that's my picture here with, with many more amazing, oh, wonderful. You. There I am. <laughs> yes. That's me here. And with many more, 20 more amazing, amazing women who share their stories, their journey. So my uh, chapter here is a meek to a mesmerizing speaker. And it's all about my journey, how I started off as a, as a trainer, as, as a speaker, and uh, how I built my journey. So I was a very shy girl when I was in school and college, and I built myself as a speaker. So it, it talks a lot about that. And this is a best-selling book. And my second book is Courage and the Siege, which is here. And Courage and the Siege is, again, uh, an anthology book where 10 women have spoken their lives, their stories, and I'm one of them. And my chapter is uh, Gratitude Matters. So it's all about gratitude, and it tells you how important gratitude is, how important it has been in my life. And it's, it's the journey that I share, which will encourage and empower many more who would want to watch and read that. And that's, that's my, one of my wishes that I support with my books. I'm also writing my current book. 
which is uh, Gratitude uh, Leadership. That's the book that I'm writing right now. And it's a journey of my uh, interactions in the corporate world and how we can support each other to build more gratitude in the world and encourage ourselves to be more understanding about ourselves better and be more grateful. So how gratitude leadership can impact and uh, be more prominent in this world. So that, that's something I'm, I'm pretty much uh, working on right now and I do a lot of workshops open workshops events as well as uh, in the corporate sector I do team building workshops based on uh, gratitude leadership as well as communication skills so I function as a consultant uh, doing uh, soft skills workshops in organizations and uh, apart from that I mentor and I teach uh, whenever I can I do a lot of volunteering work um, uh, for various causes, American Cancer Society, and I also uh, do open uh, workshops for seminars for young children uh, in India online from here uh, late in the evening. So it's called uh, Eka Them All. So I support them and I do a communication skills workshop uh, for them from here. Uh, they are age group of ninth and 10th grade students. And apart from that, I, I keep doing a lot of other volunteering work. Uh, I do a lot of uh, work on LinkedIn. So I'm also a, a LinkedIn strategist. So I function and support people who would want to uh, build their network uh, in on LinkedIn and build their clientele on LinkedIn, how to support, how to bring, bring about uh, more heart-centered people in their connections. So I, I I have a following of over uh, 11,000 plus and counting um, on LinkedIn. And it's not just a following, I would say it's, it's an interactive following and I connect with them. We, I keep doing my posts and I have at least over hundred messages uh, which I receive on my posts, on, my, on the comments and I, I'm interacting with them. And apart from that, um, most of my posts go over 10,000 plus views when it goes viral on LinkedIn. So that has helped me understand that there is value in building relationships and I teach it to people and I encourage you if you would want to support um, uh, or want my support, you can reach out to me. Uh, I give um, 15 minutes free uh, sessions for who, whomsoever would want to build their network, understanding the, their profiles, how to set it up and things like that. Uh, or if you have any specific questions, uh, there are, I give out um, in my calendar, 15 minutes free sessions. So you can reach out to me uh, as a LinkedIn strategist or as a gratitude leadership coach, I would be happy to support you. And then if you want to work with me later on, we can talk about that later. But this is something that I would love to offer you as my free gift today on Munira's show. Okay, so that's awesome. So for people who are watching this, they can watch this. We're going to upload this video into YouTube. You can like and subscribe into my channel. We will have links to Gita's Facebook page and her business page, and including my page. And we look forward to having you and seeing you on our following. And thank you so much, Gita, for your time and your valuable information that you share. With thanks, I appreciate it. Any last words for you? Absolutely, absolutely. And my uh, honest wish is that all of you uh, flourish and be inspired and motivated in whatever you're doing. And uh, as I had shared as a quote in one, one of my books, in my first book is, if you have a vision, just close your eyes and it will be in front of your eyes. So just believe in your vision go for it whatever it may be every idea every idea is a good idea if you are continuously working on it so it's it's important that we understand and be passionate about what we want what that idea is i started my radio show with just an idea munira started her show with just an idea and today it has taken us uh, to places it's it's just about how we believe in ourselves how we can impact ourselves as well as others with with all those wonderful things that we create in our own minds as it said and think and grow rich as well you know everything happens here we can we can create gold just by thinking because every idea 
is equivalent to gold. If you believe in it, if you want it so badly, and if you can just work towards it with passion. So believe in yourself, you can create gold. Thank you so much. Thank you, over and out. Thank you.